Household projectors fall into two types. There are those for discerning enthusiasts with dedicated space or entertainment, and there are those for more casual viewing that offer a portable all-in-one home cinema but without the picture refinement of a more purist design. In recent years, companies such as LG have focused on improving these smaller, more everyday models. The increasing affordability of laser technology means that manufacturers are now starting to produce slimmed-down long-throw projectors such as the LG HU810PW that aim to deliver excellent picture and functional flexibility. Boasting a full 4K resolution, HDR support, an impressive 2,700 ANSI lumens brightness, and a 97% DCI-P3 color gamut, the LG HU810PW has some very grown-up picture attributes. But it also includes onboard streaming courtesy of LG WebOS and inbuilt speakers, meaning that it's essentially a home cinema in a box. Relatively compact and light for a long-throw projector, the HU810PW is narrower than it is long. With its matte white, sharp-edged finish, LG has married some serious home cinema technology with a more lifestyle design, letting users be both relaxed or specific in setup. It comes with a white version of LG pointer-style remote with backlit buttons that give users quick access to apps including Disney+, Apple TV, BritBox, Plex, Amazon Prime Video, Mubi, Rakuten TV, YouTube, Spotify, and Napster. There's no iPlayer or HBO Max, but it's a decent offering. The projector has adjustable feet for shelf placement and mounting points for an inverted ceiling position, with front and rear projection options. As you'd expect from a laser projector, start-up takes only a few seconds, power-down is almost instant, and it's rated for a hefty 20,000 hours of use. Two levers below the lens provide manual focus and a 1.6x optical zoom. Meanwhile, on the side, two dials offer vertical and horizontal lens shift of up to 60% and 24% respectively. Having manual controls must surely keep the build cost down, and we can appreciate that trade-off. However, refining the focus is tricky given the stiffness of the lever and, of course, it means you can't get up close to the screen while making adjustments. At this level it's not unreasonable to expect electronic lens adjustment to be on the menu. At the rear are two USB sockets and a generous three HDMI ports, one rated as 2.1 and supporting ELM and eARC slash ARC. This means that if you're streaming content with a Dolby Atmos soundtrack, you can connect the HU810PW to a Dolby Atmos soundbar or AVR and enjoy it in all its immersive glory. This port has a 4.4.4 RGB 10-bit output, but its input bandwidth is capped at 24 Gbps, so those with next-gen consoles from Sony and Xbox won't be able to take advantage of 4K 120 HD gameplay. But given that even in game mode, the HU810PW has a lag time of 50ms, it's more suited to casual gamers anyway. The LG HU810PW sits at the top of LG Sinbeam range of projectors for domestic use. While the company's Pro Beam series is designed for business installations, this is the brand's first model to make the leap into proper home cinema and comes in two flavors, the HU810PW and O810PB. While both models share the same picture specifications, the latter is intended for custom installation and possesses a few additional features including an RS-232C port, a 12V trigger jack and IP control. It also adds common auto calibration compatibility and YSA sound support, meaning it can send up to 5.1 channels of high-resolution wireless audio to a compatible sound system via an additional third-party transmitter. We tested the cheaper HU810PW and its functionality will more than suffice for most users. LG's slightly excessive submenus aren't the easiest to navigate, and their terminology is not always logical. Still, the preset picture modes generally offer a good jumping-off point to start tweaking. In our dark test room, we ended up settling on cinema home mode and taking it from there. Projecting onto our reference 8FT screen, it's the LG color intensity and crispness that stand out. With the combination of the HU810PW red and blue dual laser configuration and speedy DLP XBR chip, 
The opening of The Adventures of Tintin on Blu-ray is awash with colors that are punchy and rich, while the textures of the fabrics are beautifully rendered. The refinement of every hair on Tintin's quiff is razor-sharp, while the brightness of the highlights from the backlit sun doesn't wash out the detail. We get the impression that animation plays to the HU-810 PW strengths, and although we find that the onboard frame by frame dynamic tone mapping helps to maintain consistency across different content types, switching to live action with Dunkirk, we need to dial the saturation back to achieve a more nuanced picture. The long vistas looking out to sea have excellent clarity, but compared to the 5-star Epson ATW9 1400 there's not quite as much gradation in the way this LG handles the shading of light, resulting in a flatter-looking image. And although we can clearly see every grain of sand on the beach or wrinkle on Mark Rylance's face, the Epson simply comes across as looking more natural and convincing. Like most projectors, including the ATW9 1400, the HU810 PW black levels are wanting compared to those of a decent TV, and we end up compromising on black detail to gain a richer, more balanced picture. Streaming Aquaman from Apple TV means that some of the murkier elements of the seabed are lost. We also find that in the more synthetic CGI scenes, such as when Nicole Kidman stands at the end of the pier in the opening, the HU810 PW image looks a little overprocessed making the characters in the scene look like flat cardboard cutouts against the background. But overall, these flaws don't detract too much from an experience with intensely vivid colors and exceptionally slick motion handling in the positive column. Unsurprisingly, the stereo speakers built into the HU810 PW aren't really serviceable or particularly enjoyable to listen to, producing a narrow and harsh sound, especially when pushed to a high volume. If you care enough about home cinema to buy a projector such as this, then we'd suggest you at the very least take advantage of that e-arc port and buy a Dolby Atmos soundbar. With a crisp, detailed picture, punchy colors and smooth motion handling, the HU810 PW delivers a lot of value and, despite its limited contrast range, it performs well both as a flexible all-in-one system and install model. However, if you're willing to forego the smart streaming features, which you can always add with a streaming stick anyway, there are other models at this price point with a more sophisticated approach to color and shading.